Up the country, seniors remain cut off from the outside world because of their vulnerability to COVID-19, meaning those in senior homes have not been able to visit with or even touch their loved ones since the pandemic began. Will Heron is in Las Cruces with the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom to find out where the infection numbers need to be so family members can finally hold and kiss their loved ones in person. Isolation can be one of the toughest things for senior citizens living alone. Now imagine that isolation is thrust out upon you for your own protection. Why do the numbers need to be in Don Anna County so homes like this can finally open their doors back up to their loved ones? It's been hard not really being able to like talk with them or see them. Yeah, February. We haven't seen her in six months. Human touch is vital to somebody's psyche and well-being and emotional states. And not having as much does affect somebody. We do show love to our, our residents in many different ways, but we, even us, cannot hug on them. Tiffany Bristol, the operations manager at Hacienda Grace Village, a senior living home in Las Cruces, misses the feeling of affection she used to share with their residents. In order to visit your loved ones, David Morgan with the New Mexico Health Department explained to ABC7 that Doña Ana County must have a seven-day rolling positivity average that does not go over a certain percent. Doña Ana County right now is at 6.4 percent. In order for uh, people to be able to visit their loved ones uh, at uh, long-term care centers or nursing homes, it needs to be 5%. Even with some light at the end of the tunnel, Bristol's heart still breaks for the families that cannot shower their seniors with the love they so deserve. Seniors are ones that they they deserve more. They do, they, you... Just after we finished interviewing Mr. Morgan, he called us back to let us know that Don Anna County is now at 6%, just one more percent away from bringing these families back together. Here in Las Cruces, within the Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm O'Haran, ABC7.